Hey guys, as you're about to start your paper one, I've decided to film another video series for a paper two to help you prepare for your paper two exam coming next week. So let's just quickly look at some of the instructions, right? Just to jolt our memory. So it says start each question on a new page. Um, all final answers um, can be rounded off, right? Um, and it says, obviously, depending on the context or where it's stated, and then it sees, says use units of measurement. So I've just drawn out some, some important pieces that we often forget, but let's now start the paper. So question one says, Annex to A shows a summary of the income and expenditure statements with notes of the South African National Blood Service for the financial year ended 31 March 2016. Some of the amounts have been omitted. Okay, so we know that they're probably going to ask us to calculate some amounts. So it says use Annex to A, so remember always to have your addendum on hand, and the information above to answer the questions that follow. Communication costs decreased, right? Decreased by 4.402% from 2015 to 2016. So it's basically saying the costs in 2015 were higher than the costs in 2016 with regard to communication. It says calculate to the nearest 1,000 rand, it's important, the communication costs for 2016. Okay, so let's go to the addendum and make sure that we understand what's going on, right? So the addendum says, um, it shows us sort of a summary at the top and then more detailed at the bottom. So we have primary income, we have primary expenses, and look, there's communication costs. Communication costs given in thousands. So guys, don't forget to always look in what unit information is given. So this is actually over here, it says 32187. That's not just 32,187, right? It's 32187 thousand rand. Okay, that's important. Okay, and then we don't have it for 2016. So we're going to use the 2015 number, apply that decrease, of that 4.402% to get the cost in 2016. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do that. So what I've done over here is I've said, okay, well, the cost in 2015 is higher than the cost in 2016. So you should be ex expecting a lower number in 2016 than you got in 2015. So I said the decrease between the two is the 4.402%. Now you might be saying, where did you get that mark? Well, it says it over here, 4.402%. So this is the decrease times by the amount, right? in 2015. Now, you would probably see that I've just used the 32187, so I haven't put the thousands in, right, over here, but my answer here is in thousands, right? So this is in thousands. It's important, okay? So that's my decrease. Put that into your calculator. You should get the same as me. Don't round it off. Just leave it like that. It's fine, okay? Then we're saying the cost in 2016 equals the cost in 2015, minus the decrease that we just calculated because we know that the cost in 2016 is less than the cost in 2015. So we said the 2015 cost minus the decrease that we're seeing gives us the 2015 cost. So this is in thousands. Okay, that's important. So now let's see whether we have answered our question. Well, our question says to the nearest thousand. So what it wants is it doesn't want any decimal places over here. So we're just going to round this off to 30770,000. Okay, so that's important. Okay, it's important to understand what units you're working with and to make sure that you give your answer in the correct format. Okay, let's now go on to the next question. It says the SANBS imports 75% of its products testing of its product testing material on consumables. Explain what possible impact a weakening rand, right, will have on their total profit for the year. So now, what does a weakening rand mean, right? You could be thinking, well, I don't know, Marks, you tell me. Well, right, a weakening rand is this. Let's just say that it is 15 rand to $1. Right, so it cost me 15 Rand for one dollar. A weakening Rand is where it starts costing me more for a dollar. Right, this is what we call weakening. Okay, so what would happen, right, if my Rand weakened? It means that my costs go up, right, and we know that profit equals income minus expenses. So if 
rand weakens, right, then our expenses go up. So this guy here goes up. But our income doesn't necessarily go up. So that means that our profit decreases. Okay, that is important, right? Because if we, if we have lots of costs that are subject to currency changes, it means that our profit can be really volatile. It can be all over the place and unpredictable, which is concerning for a business. Okay, let's now go on to the last question for this specific video. So it says, compare, showing all calculations, the 2015 and 2016 percentage profit for SANBS. You may use the following formula. So we're going to do it for two years. We're going to do it for 2015, we're going to do it for 2016, and we're going to compare the two, right? That's important because sometimes what students do is they forget to actually answer the question. They just do the maths and they forget to make a statement about the maths that they've done, they've done right? And so much of math literacy is actually being practical, saying, what does this math mean, right? So don't forget that. Always bear that in mind. It's always about what does this math mean, okay? So let's do that, okay? So we're going to do percentage profit, right, for 2015, okay? So now it says to do that, we have to say annual total profit over annual total primary income times 100%. So we're doing it for 2015. So total annual profit is 342, 534,000. You don't have to put the 1,000 in, right? Because everything here is in thousands. So if you keep it in thousands, it's fine. It still will give you the correct answer. And then it says over total annual primary income. So total annual primary income, right, for 2015 is this 2250041. Then we're going to times it by 100. Okay. So let's put that into our calculator. Biggest thing here. I know I say this a million times and you're probably getting tired of me. But make sure you type it incorrectly. So the profit margin or the profit percentage in this year was 15.22%. I just rounded it off to two decimal places. Okay, let's now do the same calculation, but now we're doing it for 2016. Okay, so for 2016, the annual total profit is 360651 over total annual primary income, 2403509 times by 100. Let's put that into our calculator. Oh dear, what am I doing? 360651 over 2403509 times 100. Okay, and that is 15 point zero one percent okay so what has happened right we see that it's 15.22 in 2015 and it's 15.01 in 2016 right so what has happened the profit has decreased right um let me just say the profit sorry the profit percentage right because we actually see that an absolute value right when we're talking about the absolute amount we did earn more profit than we did in 2015, but as a percentage of our total annual primary income, it was less. So our profit percentage has decreased. Okay, it's important to understand the difference there because percentages and absolute amounts are different things because percentages form part of a total. That forms part of that total. That forms part of that total. Okay, so that's this question done. Let's move on to 1.2.